Welcome back to Switch to Linux. So today we're gonna to have just a very quick tip on working with Linux Mint Cinnamon and your context menus. So if you come to Linux from a Windows environment, and the biggest reason I like Linux Mint Cinnamon is I can set this up just like a Windows environment. And so you won't miss a whole lot of beats in, in how the configuration is. Now when you start messing around on Linux, you can start playing with other desktop environments, and this is a pretty cool desktop environment here and uh, you know I have an Ubuntu over here next to me and and that's a neat desktop environment but if we're just kind of getting your feet wet and you want to try out a, a Linux system that is very much like the Windows platform Linux Mint Cinnamon is a great way to go because it gets set up much the same way you can see I have a panel with a taskbar I have a system tray I have your effectively what you might call a start menu it has my various programs and applications you know, and anything I can see and, and do is, is available. So we can also on Linux Mint Cinnamon right click and there's an option to create a new document. Not all Linux distros have that feature. Some Linux distros do not even let you do anything on the desktop at all. But many of them will allow you to at least put files there, but you'd have to drag and drop the files uh, uh, directly. But with Linux Mint, you can right click and create a new document. But there's a little ca catch here. When you install a program on Windows, it will automatically create the option there to create a new document, you know, and sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes not so much. But on Linux Mint, the default is to give you nothing but an empty document. So you can see here that the, it says no templates installed and then there's an option for an empty document. And in Linux, an empty document with no extension simply means it's a text file. And so that's what we get. So sometimes this is where I start if I'm moving to something else because, you know, I might be doing this for a website and then I can just, you know, hit, hit my F2, just like in Windows, and I can change it to an HTML document like that. Of course, if I double click it, it's still going to open up in the generic text editor because the metadata still tells the thing it's text. But I can, with that extension, open it and I should be able to hit the other applications and go into Bluefish Editor. But that's too long a way around. So let's go ahead and show you how you can put real stuff in that, uh, in that menu there. And this is so simple um, that uh, even if this is your first day on Linux Mint, you can do this. So what you need to do is add some files to the template folder in your home folder. So I have my home folder on my desktop. That's what I prefer to do. You can also find it from places in your menu. So I'm going to open up my home folder and then we're going to look for this folder here called template. So I'm going to slide over this way to make sure the camera's not in the way. So I double click here and you can see that templates is empty. Well, whatever is in this templates folder is going to appear in that context menu. So I'm going to show you how you can add a few different types of documents to that menu and you can then decide which documents that you constantly need to open based upon your workflow. So we're going to do um, two document types out of LibreOffice. So we're going to come down to LibreOffice and I'm just going to open up the base application. So with the base application, it will show me my recent documents and then I can come over here and open a document. So now I've opened up LibreOffice, which I have been using LibreOffice more and more and more. And I don't think the, I, I can't remember the last time was I did something on, on Microsoft Word, which I have on the computer directly behind me. Um, but when I need to write a document, I just come over here and type it up over here. I just like how LibreOffice works. Um, it's, it's a very nice system. Now there's a few things, anything that, that uh, you wanna change in here, you do this. So um, Liberation Serif is the default font inside of LibreOffice. If you wanna change that to a different font, you can come down and, and uh, you can select this from the list. And by the way, um, there is a way you can install the basic uh, Windows fonts. That is going to be one of your disadvantages right out of the right out of the box. Is that there will not be a whole lot of fonts that are similar between the two. Although many of them, like Arial, you can certainly download most places. There is an application where you can download to install the Microsoft Office fonts directly on your Linux Mint system. I'll cover that in an, in another video. And let me know if you want it to be sooner or later. Now the other thing you might want to do is you might want to change all your default fonts. So if you do happen to want to change your default fonts, then uh, what you want to do, I'm just setting it back to Liberation Sans, what you want to do is under the Tools menu here and under Options, 
come down to LibreOffice Writer, expand this down, and there is this basic fonts. So this basic fonts allows you to set the default font for the document, what are the headings, lists, captions, and index. So you can go ahead and do this, and then it will save this, and when you open up LibreOffice, then you will get the defaults based on those settings. So if you do want to change your fonts to something, you want to do that before we create our our template because whatever we create our template in, even if it differs from the system defaults, we will get what's in the template, not what's in the system defaults. So with a blank document here, assuming everything else looks good, with a blank document, we are simply going to come up to the file menu, save as, so you can alternatively, you can see here, hold control, shift and push S. And then I'm going to find my, uh, my home folder here, find that templates folder, and then whatever I want this to be named, I'm going to name this in the in the upper um, menu here. So I want to call this new writer document. Okay, so hit new writer document, hit save as, and that will now appear in the templates menu. So let me go ahead and open up the uh, templates folder there. So now you can see we have a new writer document. Okay, so we're going to close the writer and I'm going to open up the spreadsheet. Once again, make any changes that you would like to make to your basic program here. And then what we're going to do is same step, file, save as, go back down into your templates folder and I'm going to call this a new spreadsheet. Okay, hit save, and now we're done with LibreOffice. Now, I'm a web developer, and I might have a need to make HTML documents, CSS documents, PHP documents. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open up Bluefish Editor, which is my uh, default Linux, um, uh, default Linux um, HTML editor here. And then here inside of a new document, I can come in here, and I can actually put any type of code that I would like to, uh, like to have in here. So... What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, um, sometimes I'm more used to Dreamweaver, depends on my, my week, okay? They operate slightly different. Okay, so there. Now, I can literally put anything in here. So I work with Bootstrap websites a lot. I can literally come in here, build a generic default Bootstrap template, and put those inside of the, the menus, and when I go and right click on that, I can literally use that context menu to select the type of bootstrap menu I'd want. So here, for now, we're just going to, it might help if I have a body tag too, might it? Let's do the body and body, and of course we will be as original as possible and write hello world, because yeah, I'm a geeky programmer dude. So now we're gonna come over here, we are going to save as, and then we're going to come into the templates folder and I'm going to save this as um, new HTML document dot HTML. And I'm going to put that extension in there. The, if you recall on the LibreOffice, I did not. And the reason is that Bluefish can manage a whole lot of different types of web documents. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And hopefully that's going to work for us. So we're going to have a quick look. Sometimes you got to fight with it a little bit, um, just with Bluefish Editor specifically. So you can see here, it, it did give me an HTML type document. So I might also have need of a CSS file. So I'm just going to leave this blank because that's how I like my CSS files. Save as new CSS file dot CSS. And why don't we go ahead and do one for PHP as well new php file dot php okay so now i've done some uh, some items that are specifically contextual to my um to to just some generic writing and then i've put some in here as well so it looks like the php and the css i do not have those properly mapped to bluefish like i have the html document but that's quite okay so now if I come to my desktop anywhere, I right click, go under create new document. So now you can see that I can open any type of document from right inside of here. 
So there is how you can utilize your context menu to put any type of document. So any type of document that you have a need for, that you have a program that you can open up with that, you can create and put inside of that templates folder. And now on Linux Mint, you will have a very nice create new document context menu to speed up your production. So this has been Tom, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.